All right, this week on the Weekend Homestead, we're working on our outhouse project. So what we've done so far is we've excavated the hole that our cylinder is going to go in. This is a 200 gallon vessel. Um, this will be put underneath the outhouse and then the building here will be set on top of a concrete slab. So what we're doing today is getting this in the ground, getting it level, packing it with gravel, and then uh, putting in the vents. We'll cut a hole here for a four inch vent that'll go up through the roof. And then uh, we'll prep all of our concrete work so that then tomorrow we can come back and pour the concrete. What I've done is I've excavated out a hole and down in the bottom I poured a bunch of gravel. I'm actually going to go get one more scoop and dump it in there uh, just to kind of have a... I want at least six inches of gravel on the bottom. So I'll probably dump a couple more loads of gravel down in there, get it all ready to go. And then uh, we'll just roll it right in the hole. All right, so I got the bottom here all rounded out with some gravel. We're gonna put our vessel in, and then I'm gonna surround the outside of it with more gravel. The reason why you wanna put gravel around the outside of it is when water gets alongside of it, you want it to kind of drain away from it because if ice freezes around it, it can crush it, or also it can cause it to rise up out of the ground even with all the weight on it. So nice way to get it level on the ground. Got some good gravel down here. Let's get the vessel in and uh, get it leveled, and we'll start adding some gravel and see how this turns out. There we go. So I'm pouring a six inch slab of concrete on top here. So what we did was we figured out where the grade was gonna be and figured out six inches above. So this manhole cover is just inside of the building. And then from there, we'll fill in the concrete. We'll get rid of the soil that's around here that we don't need. And uh, we'll get this all graded out. Then we'll frame up our concrete and tomorrow morning we'll be pouring concrete out here. Take the cap off of this, put our building on top of it, and we'll be on our way. But now that we got this thing all leveled, we'll get the cover back on. We'll do two more or three more loads of gravel around here. Take the shovel and keep going around the outside and it shakes that gravel down and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now we're gonna put our vent in. And in order to put our vent in, I need to figure out where the edge of the building is. So from this center point here, I want three feet each direction. So I measured my three feet, but then I brought this stake back four inches. And you're probably asking yourself, why would he do that? Well, the wall on the house is built out of two by fours. So a two by four is three and a half inches. So four inches will give me enough room to know where the inside of the wall is. Now I don't want the vent pipe to come out of here and go outside the building, I wanna stay inside. So this is marking basically where the inside wall is. So if be somewhere between here and the stake is where I'm gonna put the 90 in to bring the uh, uh, connection up past through the concrete and then it'll go up and out. And that'll basically draw the air out of this vessel and then up to the sky to vent it out so we don't have any sewer gas backing up into our outhouse. Okay, so the next part is we're putting in the vent. So I got some four inch pipe here that's gonna go out of the vessel and then turn and make a 90. I got these two stakes here which are basically showing me where the back wall of the house is and the side wall so I don't extend the pipe out too far because once I put this pipe in, we have to caulk it in position. I'm gonna cover it with gravel because eventually it'll be cemented in right to the floor and there'll be a piece that'll be sticking up and then we'll just trim it off once everything is put together and we'll put all of our extensions on to get it all the way to go up to the top. But Right now I'm coming out of the vessel and making a 90 and going up. So in order to do that, got to do a little bit of measuring and then we're going to take the top off, jigsaw it out and we should be good to go. So I just take our pipe here on one of these flat spots.
Now the hole doesn't have to be perfect because what will happen is we're going to end up caulking around the edge of it to keep water out. What you don't want to have happen is rainwater or drain water coming into this vessel and filling it up. It's sealed for a reason. One, so nothing can leak out, but the other thing is so nothing can leak into it. So in order to do that, we're gonna put the pipe in, make sure it's tight, and then I'm gonna caulk it really well, both on the inside and the outside, and that hopefully will keep it from having any uh, issues. The other thing we're gonna do is we'll trim this off when we figure out how far out we want it to go, and uh, we'll cut it off flat. We'll put our 90 in, we'll get it all braced up, and then we'll backfill it the rest of the way. Perfect. Now we just take a little bit of gravel. I want this thing to rest in here for right now. I'm going to scoop some gravel and I'm going to pack it around this to make sure we're good and tight. Before I put this in permanently, I'm going to glue these joints. So, just getting everything ready. The trick that you want to do is, see the level of this? You want this to be higher than that. Because remember, we're going to bring concrete up and all that you're going to see is the top edge of this lip inside of the outhouse and then the floor will be basically smooth right across this. So we'll have two by fours, we'll box this in and the seat will be right over this. But in order to get the measurements all right, you want this to be a little bit taller than your floor because if you pour it and it's shorter than your floor, concrete's gonna go down in it. If it's higher, now I can hook a collar onto here and I can extend up however high I need to. Once I get this all leveled and make sure everything is good to go, we'll fill it in here. It'll be set and then uh, we'll keep back filling this all the way in till uh, we're to the top. Last thing I gotta do is caulk the inside of this to make sure that we don't get any drainage or anything like that inside. So I'm gonna do that next. Now no water should be able to get into this thing and uh, we can seal it up the rest of the way, put the cover back on. I'll do a little wipe down inside of here to clean it up. And then we'll put the cover on. We'll finish uh, putting this uh, pipe in and uh, get rid of all the dirt around this thing and get ready for the concrete. Alrighty, that's the end of our project for today. This will sit like this till tomorrow, and then uh, we'll put the forms in around the outside, two by sixes, mix up some concrete, pour it in there, cover it with some plastic, and we're gonna let it sit for a couple days. Then I'll come back, we'll pick this up, set it back on top of here, and uh, we'll be ready to finish. We're gonna go with uh, some cedar siding. I don't know if you've seen this before or not, but we have this on the down below. We're going to shingle the outside of it with cedar and then uh, I'm going to paint it. So it was a good day overall. We got the house off of the foundation. We got our uh, vessel buried. If you, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel because we're going to install that thing. We've got this project here and as we walk up this way, this is our new driveway I just put in. Driveway used to just go to the barn, now it comes all the way back here. We got a low spot right here I gotta fill in. We have one more building too. This guy right here. I'll tell you that uh, it's a pretty cool project. It's gonna be a two year thing. Half of it's gonna get done this fall. The rest of it will get done in the summer. But we've been talking about putting uh, solar out here and uh, I'm gonna use that uh, as a box to store my batteries and to store some other stuff. So, so I've got that shed project. We've got the outhouse, we've got the box blind, and we're doing some repair work to some of the other box blinds. So it's all coming together out here. It's looking good.